they are more educated. And uh, morality requires discipline. And it's a lot easier to maintain a hero system and a certain kind of moral discipline if you're in a homogeneous environment rather than a multicultural one. Because when you're living around a vast variety of hero systems, all right, it uh, will tend to erode your commitment to your unique hero system because you are increasingly exposed to what seems like the fictional nature of your hero system. Like, why should I sacrifice sexual pleasure when I, I see other groups having you know, many more parties and, and much more uh, sexual debauchery than my group enjoys? Why should I limit myself when I, I see other groups seemingly having a, a lot more fun? And so as Americans become more multicultural, we have more competing hero systems and that tends to undercut uh, sexual discipline and other forms of discipline and other forms of morality because people are going to be less likely to constrain themselves once they become increasingly aware of other choices, right? It's easier to constrain yourself if you don't think there's a choice. But when you notice other hero systems and other forms of sexual morality, that's going to have more of an influence on you as opposed to living in a community where there's just one dominant hero system, where there's just one dominant uh, morality. Here is an interesting perspective from uh, Mark Halperin that is never brought up when Donald Trump is castigated for challenging the 2020 election results. Um, things about it last time, though? There were, there were way too many changes made based on COVID that should have been done more clearly and more fairly. But that doesn't mean the election was stolen, and those were the rules, and that's how our, our system works. But that's that's all that happened last time. But but I think this time will be different because I think there'll be more preparation to understand. I don't think there'll be the same patience for it.